so this look is inspired by um, the look that Jennifer Love Hewitt wears in Ghost Whisperer. And it's a really sort of pretty, if I zoom in for you, um, it's a really pretty, like, coppery, bronzy colour. So it reflects autumn pretty well. And so it's a nice look to wear during uh, the, the season of autumn and fall. Um, and I was actually requested to do a look um, inspired by autumn and fall. And I also used the Naked palette to achieve the look, uh, which again I was requested to do. Also requested to do like smoky eyes using browns and stuff. Um, so yeah, this pretty much hits many, many requests in one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. Bye. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelid with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is apply a coloured base and I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot in Indian Wood. And I'm just going to take a very, very tiny amount, you don't need too much. And I'm just going to pat that onto my eye, just as you would when you're applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just pat it along your eyelid. Okay then, so to, using the uh, Naked Palette, I'm going to take Half Baked and Smog, which is these two here, and I'm actually going to mix them both together um, and I'm going to use the MAC 239 brush and it looks dirty because I've used it for the other eye already. And so all I'm going to do is just dip into half baked smog and just kind of go back and forth between the two of them and always end in the colour that you actually want to appear on your eye which is smog um, and I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelid. Okay, so then taking the MAC 217 brush, which is a nice uh, fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to go over the edge of the shadow that we just applied, just to blend that out and make the lines a little less harsh. Okay, so next, taking Dark Horse, which is this colour here, right next to Smog, and I'm just going to use, um, like a pencil brush. I'm just going to get the tip of that into Dark Horse and I'm going to run that along the my upper lash line and then I'm going to slightly bring it out into the outer V. Okay and then with the blending brush again, the MAC 217, you just want to blend that out really really well. Okay, so just to warm up this look a little bit, I'm just going to add a little bit of coppering, um, just again with the MAC 239 brush. And just take a tiny, tiny amount, and then you just want to pat that over the lid. So I'm not taking any higher than the lid, I'm just going to pat that onto the lid, and just it just gives like a really nice sort of um, a warmer tone to the whole look. Okay, so finally for highlight, I'm going to take Virgin and I'm going to use my Inglot 28 PO brush again. And I'm just going to apply that underneath the arch of my eyebrow. And just bring it into the inner corner very slightly as well. Okay, so now again with the MAC 239 brush, I'm going to pick up um, Half Baked and Smog again, just using the tip this time. And I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to pick up Dark Horse and run it along the lower lash line in the corner. And then again with coppering, I'm just going to go over the whole Okay, thing. then finally taking the uh, fluid line in Black Track and my angled uh, liner brush number 263. Um, I'm just going to very slightly dip into that. And just run it along the very, very base of my lashes along my okay, upper so lash just using line. that same fluffy pencil brush type that you apply dark horse with you just want to run that over the uh, over where you just applied your gel eyeliner just to smudge it out a little bit and make it look a little bit softer okay, so now I'm going to apply my mascara she does wear false lashes but I'm just gonna stick to mascara for today um, and then I'll be right back and show you what I used on my cheeks okay my so lips. one last step I forgot to mention and I've already put my, on my mascara but um, I'm gonna use the uh, zero side of the dual ended pencil that you get with the palette to line my waterline 
Okay, so this is the final look. For cheeks, I use the MAC blush in um, Peach Twist, which looks like this. And then for lips, I use the NYC Ultra Last Lip Wear in number 413B Rose Gold, which is a really nice sort of pinky colour, but it has like gold undertones, so it matches the eyes well. And then over the top of that, I use the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Gloss in uh, Sorority Girl. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial, and a list of all the products and pictures will be up on my blog. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Top 10 lip products. This is a... Why am I dropping everything today?